Super Max-P graphics, 32 gigabytes of memory in dual channel, a 17.3 4K 60 Hertz screen with Toby eye tracking, and two one terabyte PCIe M.2 SSDs in RAID 0. For network connectivity, it's got killer ethernet, Wi-Fi 6, and Bluetooth 5. I've got the 4K 60 Hertz model, but there are a few choices to choose from, like the standard FHD model, which features 1080p, 144 Hertz, and 300 Hertz options. On the Lunar Light Magnesium Alloy Exterior Lid, we've got the infamous Alienware Alien Head RGB logo and branded 17 to go with our Legend ID. The interior is similar to most of the lid with Lunar Light finish and custom hex cooling vents. My M17 R3 weighs in at roughly five pounds and has a height of 22.5 millimeters. The M17 has zero to non-screen flex and the hinges are some of the most solid I've felt, showcasing Alienware's premium build standards. Like its predecessor, the M17 R3 features Toby eye tracking technology and also comes equipped with an Alienware HD camera with integrated mic. This is the webcam on the M17. The Alienware M series keyboard includes a numpad, anti-ghosting and key rollover technology, as well as Alien Effects RGB lighting with some effects built right in. On the left side, we have an air exhaust vent, an ethernet port, a type A USB port, and a 3.5 millimeter audio jack port. On the right side, we have a micro SD card reader, two type A USB ports, and another air exhaust vent. On the back, we have hex pattern air exhaust on either side. In the center, we start with an HDMI 2.0 B port, mini display port, Thunderbolt 3 port, an Alienware graphics amplifier port, and a power port. And to round that all off, RGB ring lighting controlled by Alien FX. Once inside from one side to the other, we have two M.2 slots for storage, an 86 watt hour battery, and the two fans with over 130 blades each. But let's talk about what we all wanna know, thermals. Let's start with airflow. The M17 pulls air in through the large mesh hex area underneath and from the vents above the keyboard. It then exhausted out the rear and both sides. The M17 features Alienware Cryotech cooling technology, engineered with hyper-efficient voltage regulation, an overall increase of 40% to its heat pipe surface area, and CPU vapor chamber technology to keep you going cool for those long marathon gaming sessions. Now let's move on to some performance. Here we are tossing Cinebench at the new Intel i9-10980HK processor, and it handles everything from gaming to multitasking with ease. Inside the M17 R3, we have an NVIDIA RTX 2080 Super Max-P, which stands for Max Performance, meaning Alienware is getting to obtain the full power out of the graphics card, producing top-notch performance in such a thin form factor. But not to worry, if NVIDIA is not the path that you want to go down, check out the AMD option as well. The Alienware M17 R3 is a real crowd pleaser if you ask me. With this refresh including Intel's 10th gen processors, Nvidia's RTX 2080 Super Max P and 32 gigs of RAM, plus an emphasis on cooling including vapor chamber technology, Alienware stops at nothing to deliver quality and performance in a thin and portable experience. Well thank you guys for tuning into the Alienware YouTube channel, I'm Ernie Gonzalez and I hope you enjoyed my latest piece. Hey everyone, I'm Jared Bush and this is the MSI GP75 Leopard. This is one of those Goldilocks laptops, like it hits that sweet spot between performance and price. It's just right, but let me give you a better look so you can understand what I mean. Uh, starting with the design, it's got MSI pedigree written all over it, from the modern aesthetic design of the aluminum black lid and backlit MSI Dragon Shield to the well thought out and generous helping of intake and exhaust vents that work hand in hand with MSI's Cooler Boost 5, which independently cools both the CPU and and GPU via seven beautiful copper heat pipes. Look at those things, shiny. Eight dongles and adapters. 
Yeah, me too. Well, I don't think you'll need them here. With three USB-A ports, a single USB-C Gen 2, a network port along with your HDMI and mini display port, a couple of audio jacks, and an SD card reader. The large 17-inch 1080p IPS display is perfect for gaming with 144Hz refresh rate to keep up with the high frame rates this thing can hit while gaming. Don't worry, we'll get to that soon. But it's also awesome for streaming content or even creation with 100% sRGB color camming. Not to mention MSI's sweet giant speaker stereo cell up with those massive resonance chambers that I think will actually surprise you if you listen to speakers from most other gaming laptops. The Steel Series per key RGB backlit keyboard is just pure fire. The keycaps are just a little chunkier than most, which is awesome. The actuation feels great, and that RGB diffusion is easily one of, if not the best, in the industry. And of course, you can customize it to your heart's content with the Steel Series Engine 3 software, along with all your key bindings and macros. And for convenience, MSI has placed a couple of shortcut buttons underneath the power button. One of them cycles through the RGB animations and the other cranks the fans to max, which is always super handy. Uh, but there's other cool software too, like Nehemic Audio, so you can really dial in your audio and gaming experiences. The MSI Dragon Center, where you can adjust and monitor system performance and even do a little GPU overclocking. But I think my favorite is the MSI App Player that they developed in partnership with Bluestacks. So in a nutshell, what the MSI App Player allows you to do is play any Android game right from the laptop. Well, actually, it lets you totally wreck everyone in any Android game right from the laptop because you've got a bigger display, a network port, a gaming laptop instead of a phone, and of course, a mouse and keyboard. The controls are intuitively mapped automatically and customizing any controls or even the performance and resolution quality is super easy to do. But not only that, let's say you die while playing a game. While waiting to respawn, you can actually launch and jump into several other gaming instances on the fly and play while you wait. Uh, you do almost feel guilty until you check your score at the end of each match. Anyways, should we talk about gaming performance? Okay, with Intel's latest 10th Gen Core i7 10750H, NVIDIA's RTX 2070, and 16 gigs of RAM, you'll be hitting triple digit FPS in both AAA titles and especially competitive gaming while easily reaching and even surpassing the display's refresh rate resulting in just bonus lower input latency. Everyone loves a bonus. And MSI's made upgrading or part swapping a breeze with easy access to every component including the dual channel RAM, NVMe SSD, wireless card, battery, and fans for cleaning. So so there you have it. Great display, great speakers, great keyboard, and awesome gaming performance. The MSI GP75 Leopard, a Goldilocks laptop. Board an ultra smooth high refresh rate panel. Even one of the world's best Uppers, G2 Esport Ken ES. Enjoy using our Oro 17X. First, performance. Oro 17X features the latest Intel 10th generation core processor. There are two options the Core i9-10980HK, and the first 8-core 16-thread, the Core i7-10875H. Compared to the previous generation, the performance of i9-10980HK is increased by 10%, and the performance of i7-10875H is also higher than the former generation i9 by 3%. As for the graphics, Oro 17X is equipped with the latest RTX Super GPU, up to the RTX 2080 Super. Compared to the former generation, the non-super version of RTX 2080, the performance increased about 20%. And here's some GAN FPS data for your reference. FPS World Tournaments such as CSGO Major and PUBG World Champion in recent years have upgraded their monitor to 240Hz. And Oros notebooks are no exception. The 240Hz high refresh rate panel on Oro 17X comes in with 4 millisecond response time and color accuracy data E less than 1. Keyboard is one of the biggest highlights of the Oro 17X. The mechanical keyboard shortens the travel distance to an actuation point and offers a tactile and sound feedback, significantly increasing input speed and performance, meeting the precise and rapid in-game control requirements of the pros. And thanks to the Windforce Infinity, the exclusive cooling technology, Oro 70X achieves 100% performance and remains cool and stable at the same time. Compared to its predecessor, the Oro X9, the thermal efficiency increased by 37%. The Windforce Infinity technology consists of 5 pipes, vapor chamber, and two giant fans that are constantly exhausting the heat. 
Look, it is really fast. Even playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare for two hours, the temperature of chases remains around 25 degrees. It is quite comfortable. This is Aorus 17X. Hell when the war's on